How's it going ladies and gents? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another Call of Duty commentary video and first of all I want to thank everybody for all their recent support on my Call of Duty videos. Your support has been absolutely incredible and in this video today what we're going to be talking about is how useful is the MP7. That's right this is a series that I thought about doing on my channel for some time where I talk about it, whether or not this weapon is useful and how effective it is in gunfights and all that stuff and today I thought I would talk about the MP7 because as you guys know the MP7 in my opinion it's always been an underrated SMG throughout the Call of Duty Modern Warfare series. My first time using the MP7 was back in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 when it was absolutely OP. And back in Modern Warfare 3, the MP7 was absolutely just great to use in short and even in long gunfights because the MP7 barely had any recoil and in Black Ops 2 they added a lot some recoil to the or a lot of recoil to the MP7 and in this weapon in this game they also added a lot of recoil to the MP7 and I feel like that with the MP7 it's one of those guns where you don't really need to use a whole lot of attachments or if you don't need to use any attachments but it is still pretty effective with the suppressor in my opinion just because in the past Call of Duty games it reduces the muzzle flash and I decided to swap the holographic sight here just because it gives you a better clear view of when you're going against an enemy. But one thing with the MP7 is that you have to take into consideration the damage it does from long and medium distances because the MP7 does minimal damage for medium and long distances. And for long distances, trying to win gunfights with the MP7 is kind of impossible because what you have to do is you have to either burst or just tap the enemy with a single shot in order to get a more effective result if you want to win a gunfight because for short range, it's very easy to win a gunfight with the MP7 because if you know how to drop shot like me and all you do is if you play on console just hit the button on your uh the front from default from b or if it's the circle button on the playstation to just tactical in the loadout option right before a game where you just press the right trigger to drop shot an enemy to crouch i mean and for pc i don't play call of duty on a lot on pc well i have modern warfare 2 on pc but for pc i probably recommend using the spacebar option i also decided to add the laser sight attachment to the mp7 just because the laser sight attachment maximizes your ability to hip fire an enemy from short range so if you're planning to run a game using the MP7, I highly also suggest using the munitions box together with the scavenger attachment because I just can't tell you how important it is to use those because this gun bursts through ammo very, very fast. Now, one of the reasons why I think Infinity War decided to add more recoil to the MP7 was because back in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the MP7 was pretty OP pretty OP like the ACR for example and the MP7 and the ACR were the most accurate weapons in that game and I think that may maybe because some people complain about the MP7 being too OP that that's the reason why they decided to add a little bit of kick and recoil to the gun in Black Ops 2 in which Treyarch did it and I believe that Infinity Ward a couple of years later after Black Ops 2 came out in which Modern Warfare did because Modern Warfare came out exactly seven years after Black Ops 2 did they probably decided to follow Treyarch lead and do the same thing to the MP7. Now that's just my personal opinion, but with the MP7, it's kind of like it's technically another word for a pea shooter because let's be honest, the MP7 really is a pea shooter in this game. But despite it being a pea shooter, it's still very mobile and you can still quickly move around with it. It's not slow like the LMGs where it's more slower to move with them with your character because with the MP7, because of its light weight, you can easily just drop shot an enemy with it without having to you know worry about uh, being at a disadvantage. Say that you're trying to drop shot with the LMGs which gives you a bit of a more disadvantage since it takes longer to aim down the sights with the LMGs. So in my honest conclusion if you're playing on a very long range map where it involves using a lot of ARs and LMGs then I think that the MP7 might be a bit useless on long range maps if there's not really a lot of a cover on them but in, on short and medium range maps then that's why I think that the MP7 is more useful to use. However on the map that I'm currently playing on here I decided to slap on the MP7 just because it does have a lot of cover and you can easily win gunfights with it in houses so that's why I mainly decided to use the MP7 for this video. So if you guys have any other suggestions or weapons that you want me to cover in my next is it useful series in Modern Warfare then please just let me know in the comment section below and I will actually feature your comment in my video because and sometimes in my videos I get suggestions from my users and I feature their comments in my videos so if you want to be featured if you want your comment to be featured in my video just uh, let me know give me a, an idea below and I'll definitely consider it but that's been it here with this video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like drop a comment subscribe and uh, once again thank you all for your amazing support love y'all and y'all have a good one